Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat back with another video. We're going to do a quick update. We're going to talk a little bit about the market and what's happening, some news. And at the end of the video, I want to give you a coin which I think is going to do really well this year. I think just picking up some bags and just hodling this coin, you're going to see some fantastic returns. Okay, so let's just get into the market at the moment. Bitcoin did dip under 30,000 and there was basically all red this morning about a couple hours ago, but some green has come back. You know, Bitcoin could go down to 29, 28. Uh, again, it's a good time to buy regardless of where the bottom is. To me, it's just irrelevant. It's just buying as much Bitcoin as you can and hodling. Whether it's 30,900 or whether it's 29,800, regardless, doesn't matter. Just accumulate the coin because you're going to be accumulating this coin for the next five years. $100 here and there is not going to make a difference. So get yourself some Bitcoin. It's on the cheap today. Pretty much most coins are Ethereum, uh, Litecoin. Look out for Bitcoin Cash. I think it's going to do massively this year. And Binance still very strong. They just done their quarterly burn. Stellar. Pretty much all these top 10 coins, if you just buy these and hodl, you're going to do well. Except I would not uh, buy XRP. That's just my own personal opinion. And obviously, Tether, you're not going to buy and hodl that. Okay, so let's just get into some of the news. Japan rallies behind XRP as Ripple faces US litigation. XRP is very popular in Japan. It was actually the most popular coin. XRP was probably the most single popular token or cryptocurrency in Japan. It was also backed by SIB. Now Japan's love for XRP is being tested after the US Securities Exchange Commission, SEC, filed suit against Ripple Labs in December 2020. The complaint accuses the firm of violating US security laws, arguing that Ripple failed to register XRP as a security or seek an exemption before the company began selling it seven years ago. That's why uh, a lot of these exchanges have delisted XRP um, and the XRP hodlers, XRP army, I guess are still uh, sticking with XRP. I don't think it's gonna go away, but uh, it's certainly gonna hurt the price. Biden's 1.9 trillion relief package proposal fails to stir Bitcoin market. Bitcoin's two-day rally has stalled at the US gains, US dollar gains ground in the wake of Biden's fiscal stimulus announcement. The US president-elect proposed an emergency relief fund worth 1.9 trillion around 15 UTC when Bitcoin was changing hands near 29,600. The cryptocurrency also traded downwards since the pullback marks a weak follow-through to the two-day rise, which saw prices visit 40,000 resistance. The lack of bullishness response by the Bitcoin market is perhaps surprising given the fiscal monetary stimulus is inflationary and Bitcoin is widely considered to store value. Publicly listed companies such as MicroStrategy bought Bitcoin in the second half of 2020 to preserve the value of their treasury. I don't think that this... I don't think that this is actually taking effect yet. Okay. Once the actual checks come out, that's when you're going to see it. Not just on news. We got crypto market cap falls by 115 billion as Bitcoin tumbles to 28,750. You can read this article. It talks about why and trading and stuff and all that sort of good stuff. Okay. But basically, in a nutshell, people, big institutions, and even weak hands are selling, all right? The institutions are taking profits, the weak hands are selling, and then what will happen is the institutions will just buy it back up, okay? Grayscale, the largest asset manager with 7.81 trillion under management, appears to have granted at least two of its funds the ability to invest in Bitcoin futures. Prospectus documents filed with the US Securities and Exchange Commission Wednesday indicated that BlackRock Global Allocation Fund, Inc. and BlackRock Funds, V, are at least eyeing Bitcoin. They both include world's oldest cryptocurrency on the list of derivative products 
clean a use. It's just a another asset that uh, that they can trade. All right, but it's it's look. I don't think they're going to be buying Bitcoin. They're just going to paper trade it. Okay, Grayscale is about to unveil Link Trust, so they have a number of these trusts that they're or unveiling, so then uh, investors can get exposure to cryptocurrencies. Here, Link. Let's just go and have a look. We can just see here on their one pager. Uh, Grayscale Investment Products. Grayscale Investments LLC, Grayscale, is the world's largest digital country asset manager with more than 20.2 billion assets under management as of 31st of 2020. Grayscale provides secure access to digital currency asset class for accredited investors through a single asset and diversified investment products. Shares of Grayscale Investment Products, the products are entitled securities and IRA eligible. Grayscale believes that the shares represent a cost-effective and convenient way to gain digital asset exposure relative to the direct investment in digital assets. So we scroll down here. It's basically it's going to see their, their trust. The different pools that are mining Ethereum, they're basically getting together or rallying. A certain number of pools are rallying together because they want to get this EIP-159 proposal basically demolished or rejected um, it's because this is going to hurt miners they're going to basically cut out the reward or some of the reward um, they'll still get tips but they won't get the reward that the maximum reward that they'll be getting now in other words miners will get less money so that's why they're trying to pull together so a whole lot of pools pull together and reject this EIP 1559. There's a lot of pushback in the mining community already, and uh, we'll see if this actual proposal goes through. Look, I've read stuff up, up on this EIP 159 proposal, and uh, it's supposed to streamline Ethereum transactions. But whether it's going to decrease actual fees for people that use Ethereum, on the blockchain from the information I've read it's not going to really make a big difference what it will affect is the miners so uh, we'll see how that goes and whether that goes through or not this could be sometime this year if they do uh, put this through this Sora farm okay you can mine this P swap all right so this is a new liquidity mining farm that uh, using Sora would just uh, just popped up the Sora is a is a really big project in the polka dot system and um, you can earn these p-swap tokens all right but if you want to uh, earn them you can now basically provide liquidity uh, on uh, either use uniswap or mooniswap and um, provide liquidity get your lp tokens and then come back here okay and just find the pair that you've uh, provided liquidity for and then you can start staking your LP tokens okay just like any other yield farming type of deal all right just come here connect up click to metamask good to go when you actually get these rewards you're going to get these p-swap rewards but they're not claimable yet and p-swap will not be allocated on the ethereum but will be claimable on Sora version 2.0 network after Sora version 2 uh, and Polkadot launch okay so that's when you're going to get this p-swap you've got to get it on Polkadot um, but however now if you want to participate you can earn this uh, p-swap for free um, but this is this uh, liquidity mining is done on Ethereum okay so you're going to have to get past those gas fees if you want to start earning this p-swap I'll put all the links below um, to learn more about this they've also got a tutorial uh, on how to um, participate uh, as well as this estimated rewards um, you can't there's no real value on the p-swap uh, token yet because it's not launched but you will be earning it and then when it launches you'll the price will be um will come out this article is pretty good because it shows you exactly what to do and if you want to start mining okay so i'll put all the links below for that also poker starter uh, again very limited but uh, they seem to be selling out all their uh, pools, obviously, because 
you know, only a certain amount of people can get in. As you can see here, you can have a look at the recipients. There's only 156 got into this one. This one here, Nord's only a very, very small amount of these uh, actual pools. Um, people get allocation. All right, so they, uh, you do hear them saying, hey, you know, this sold out in 10 seconds, this sold out in 30 seconds or whatever. Um, that's true, but look how many people are getting in. Only 100 here, 117 there, 200 there. Of course, it's, that's going to happen. Um, and only a limited amount of people will get in. You need to get in on these pools, you've got to stake 3,000 POLS. And that's, that's why they've done it, to uh, get people to stake it, gobble up the supply, and then um, people will then want to participate because they can make some quick gains with these poker starter pools, as they call it, all right? So these ones here, butterflies launches in 14 days, nine days, four days, uh, and so forth. This one here, just finished poker cover, all right? So that's that's the, the deal with those things. You need to invest in 3,000 POLS uh, to even have a chance, and there's no guarantee you'll get into this because it's a lottery as well. Okay, lastly, I told you about a coin. I think this coin's going to do really, really well. Okay, it's a blockchain infrastructure project, and they will be now cold storage um, on Samsung smartphones. Algorad's e-goal to, to add cold storage via the Samsung wallet and smartphones. Blockchain security enables true ownership of assets thanks to advanced cryptography and ensure by accessing transferring funds can be preferred by the owner of the private keys. Keeping them safe and therefore critical to the storage of management of cryptocurrencies. The most popular and secure options of hardware wallets, also, prefer, also referred to as cold storage wallets, uh, purposely built devices that store private keys utilizing special encrypted encryption chips. They offer the highest level of security against theft and unwanted use, but at the cost of convenience, they are yet an, another device to carry around if you remember your password. I think that's really good news for Elgorand. Uh, I think that this uh, token is a very good token. You're not going to see quick gains with this one. You're just going to have to hodl. I think it's going to do really, really well over the next 12 to 18 months. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I do want to say that if you're going to leave comments on the videos, please be respectful and uh, don't use any profanity uh, because I'll just ignore you or block you. You know, I spend a lot of time, on average, about three hours per video making these videos for you and uh, delivering some value so you can uh, find some potential gems and make some money in 2021. And other than that, I really appreciate everyone else. I want to thank you guys for uh, getting me to 3,000. Let's get to 4,000. Guys, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Are you new to crypto and DeFi? You're not sure how to navigate to the scams and keep away from the sharks trying to steal your crypto. This space can be very daunting for newbies. That's why we created 100xcryptoacademy.com. This is not just a course on DeFi, yield farming, and investing, but a real community of like-minded crypto enthusiasts who believe crypto is the key to financial freedom. You'll get 50 plus HD on-demand videos, ongoing research analysis and pre-screened, ICO and pre-sales, four weekly webinars per month, with live Q&A, private access to our exclusive forum, and our vibrant Telegram group for live chat and updates. All for a low monthly investment. Check out our Patreon at 100xcryptoacademy.com.